I get quite a few questions asking how I keep everything so clutter-free. The answer is quite simple. I declutter constantly. Not just by removing things like the mail or pick up after myself in the kitchen and bathroom. I like to remove all visual clutter. I'll give you a few examples. In the kitchen I like to keep my countertops free of anything I don't use daily. If I do need it daily I make sure it's visually pleasing so I use a nice looking pepper mill and salt shaker and make sure to pick the nicest looking oil and vinegar in the store. I also don't keep appliances out much. My food processor, toaster and blender are kept in a cabinet. I bring them out when I want to use them and put them back after. I've also given up on a few appliances altogether. After my kettle broke after a decade of service, I asked myself if I needed it that much. And after realizing that I might just as well use a pot to boil water for tea, I didn't replace it. The KitchenAid mixer is such a nice looking appliance, but it's so big that it doesn't fit in any of my cabinets. And after realizing that the only times I used it was for whipping cream once a year for my son Villa's birthday cake, I gave it to Villa and I'm getting a small hand mixer that can go in a drawer instead. Gadgets and electronics are prevalent in most people's homes nowadays. The gadgets themselves are often useful and bring value to our lives in many ways, but those pesky cords and cables that come with them are a bit of a nuisance so I like to hide them best as I can. I hide extension cords behind furniture. I unplug chargers and keep them in a basket when not in use. I loop the excess of light cords and tie with zip ties so they're not trailing on the floor. And speaking of dangling cords and cables, this portion of the video is sponsored by Moshi. They let me try out their AutoCube wireless charger. It's a charging pad for any QI compatible phone or Bluetooth earbuds. It's great for the desktop or in my case my nightstand where I charge my iPhone at night. I love the sleek design and how it matches my grey wool throat perfectly. Also, it's covered by a 10-year warranty, which is great if you, like me, want to hold on to your items for longer. Thank you, Moshi. When my son Ville recently moved, he had space for a TV. And since I had been lusting for a Samsung Frame TV, I let him have my old TV, and I ordered the frame. I got the 43 inch size which is one of the smaller and imagined how minimal it would look on my wall. When it arrived I was shocked at the size of the box that's needed to actually watch TV. I chose the beige frame because I wanted a lighter look and here I ended up with this huge black glossy thing that's four times the size of the Apple TV box I had before so I had to put my thinking cap on. A couple of linen placemats, some fray check and a bit of hand sewing later. Ta-da! 
I moved a few things around in my living room and created this little display moment on the shelf. And speaking of the shelf, it's there to hide the visual clutter of all that's going on on the wall below it. I mounted an extension cord to the bracket that holds the shelf with zip ties, so there's just one plug that runs to the socket. All the cables are fastened to the underside of the shelf with cable clips and zip tie holders. Sometimes people call me anal because I pay attention to detail, but then when I get the question how it looks so clutter-free, this is the answer. Also the cat bed hides some of the ugliness that's going on there on the wall. Oh, also, I've been linking all my products individually in my description box in my latest videos. That takes forever and Amazon keeps switching the links around, which sometimes renders them inaccurate before I've even posted. So I've finally been able to create my own Amazon shop. In it I've collected all the things by category, so feel free to check it out. If you buy anything through the shop, I will get a small percentage, so beware of that. The link to my shop is in the description box. Thanks for supporting my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. Please also consider subscribing. I'll continue to share all things Scandinavian from my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.